Right, now for the best part. So, we welcome um, our Sharon Rose Master, Martin Han, on stage where he will share his vision, his road to success, success with us. Currently walking on stage. Hello, hello. <laughs> Oh, yes, yeah. watch your step. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big step right there. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, thank you for the introduction. My, if you don't know me, my name is Martin Hahn. I'm currently a Sharon Rose Master in Atomy, the third level out of seven. If you don't know yet. And I've, hopefully today uh, you just kind of see the background of what I've been through and experienced through Atomy. I'm not successful yet. I'm on my way. And uh, today I just want to show you uh, the, the system or what everyone should have been doing even during and before this pandemic. Um, and, and this is my experience. So for those, some of us might have heard, heard before, but we'll try it again and we'll see how it goes today. So let, let, me, let me share my screen on this here. I am not a bit, I was never like a business person or an entrepreneur or nothing like that. I was a college kid or a high school kid, college kid, and just trying to get into a company. And Going from high school to college, I started, I started to create symptoms of allergies. Now, I, I didn't join Atomy and saying, you know, I'm going to do business, you know, try and get 1.2 million a year, boom. No, I was just going to college and my mom, as someone else's mom introducing them and as someone else's other mom and, and whatnot, everyone's mom or someone introducing someone, I was introduced by my own mom because I have like pollen allergies. I would sneeze every year from from high school towards getting into college as well. My, I would constantly sneeze like crazy, redness in the eyes, swollen in the eyes. I would take a Claritin and Allegra. I'm also allergic to fruits, peaches, apples, pears, mangoes, kiwi, strawberries. My, my, throat, itch, my throat itches, my lips would turn red, and it starts, it starts to get itchy as well too. And the insides of my ears would start to itch. Same symptoms as nuts. And for this all types of nuts, as you see on the screen there, from walnuts, pecan, almonds, uh, butter pecan ice cream is great ice cream. I loved it. Uh, I still love it. And it just started, I, I had to stay away from it because I was allergic. I thought I wasn't allergic at all, but I guess all the junk food I was eating and I just, in my, I guess my immune system just dropped. I had no idea about this. Then my mom, she had introduced me to something called, at the time, I had no idea what it was. It was called, it's Hemohem. All I knew was that it smelled like what my grandma used to make when I was little and it stunk up the whole house. It, it was just an herbal, herbal smell that I just did not want. I really didn't care about this thing. It took me a while just to taste it or just to, just to drink it. So th thankfully my mom was persistent to make me drink this thing. Little packets, drink it every single day. Even in college, she would call me in lectures, lecture hall. Are you drinking your hemohem? Are you drinking your hemohem? She followed up very, very well. <laughs> and so, from about winter time is I think is when I started taking it, which I really didn't care. I really did not. I really wanted to just, just to drink it for my mom. And towards the springtime, I noticed that, okay, I was outside and I didn't really have any uh, much of a symptom when the pollen was there. This is too noisy. When the pollen was there. So my other friends were still at home taking the medicine and they're constantly sneezing. So I was thinking, all right, do I not, do I, do I not have allergies anymore? Like what's going on? Because I didn't take the medicine. I didn't take any Claritin or Allegra at the time. So I really didn't care again. And I just kind of, thankfully, I was like, you know, sniffing the pollen and I started to kind of try out the, the fruits and nuts and it was kind of okay. So whatever. I just, I was a college kid. Graduated economics, I graduated economics bachelor degree at, at a university over here in Charlotte. North Carolina. And then I get a call from my mom saying, Hey, can you go online at my bank and pay my electricity bill? Cause we had no electricity at home. I'm like, what is going on? Not once, but two times. And knowing my mom, she's a businesswoman like crazy. She's a very strong mindset. She's like a, she's like a dad and a mom in one. It's, it's insane. And knowing that she didn't pay electricity bill for the house, no way this cannot be happening. So she's like, shut up, go on my bank account, pay the bills and just get it over with because she was busy like crazy with Atomy. Because she's a 20 year beautician, she, she cuts hair beautifully and doing all this tattooing and everything, she made good money. But because she was so crazy getting into this business, she just forgot to pay some bills. Okay, not once but twice, yeah, that, I helped out too, that looked great. And uh, just to pay, right? But what I noticed was money wasn't, keep on, wasn't constantly going out because it's network marketing. I thought it was a complete pyramid scheme. Money was coming in. So I had nothing to say. I couldn't say anything at all uh, for this 
so-called at me, uh, for me, I thought it was a complete pyramid scheme. Then she had the guts to ask me to, hey, can you come over here and help with the seminar? Just come over here to the hotel at this, at this address and this address. Can you just read the subtitles for these people who are, who are just trying to listen to our CEO's video? So I helped translate the chairman, Mr. Holland Gill Park's video. And I thought, okay, I'll do it for you, mom. I go over there. I know, I know no one over there. I just come in here, this, this 23, 20, 24 year old kid, you know, getting into this place. And I wanted to make it fun for them because they look dreadful. They looked like they didn't want to be there. So I try to act like the, the CEO, Mr. Hongil Park. And every time he goes high pitch or low pitch, I would do the exact same thing. So he said something where there is a red ocean and also a blue ocean. And in the red ocean, people have competition, like making three to $7,000 a month and just striving, uh, thriving through, uh, just trying to strive through whatever uh, the hard work they're trying, trying to get to just to make that much. And I was like, all right, I'm actually going to be in that level because I never really thought about making more, you know, getting towards $100,000 a year, you know, after I graduated. I thought like $45,000 is, is okay average or $36,000 was average a year, something like that. So it made sense to me. But then when he said it was a blue ocean, when there was like less competition, just more opportunities for us to make six figures and up, it, it made me feel more comfortable. And I had no idea about this kind of stuff. I was never really thinking about entrepreneurship, network marketing. Nothing like that. I just went to school to see it, just to get a degree and get a job, a career. I thought that was that. So my mom had told me, you know what? You are a slave at your company. You, you are a complete slave and you, you go to work, you get paid. You don't go to work, you don't get paid. It made sense. So we need something that makes money is what I was told if we don't work. And I, I started to kind of understand a little bit of that. No, not really. I had, I had no idea what was going on. <laughs> really didn't. So then she asked me, hey, hey, come over here to, to a, a, uh, a conference over there in New Jersey. And it's over here from North Carolina to New Jersey, a 13-hour bus ride. So I took a couple of days off from work. I gave a white lie, say I would, I would help out my mom at, at, a, at some place over in a different state in New Jersey. So I came over here. And at about 2, 8, 1 a.m. or so, someone was waiting outside, which was not just an ordinary employee of a company or whatnot. It was actually the owner of the company, the, the chairman. Mr. Hollinger Park was out there, which is pretty cool. And I thought usually VIP, you know, the celebrities would always be at the events, not waiting for two buses full of 50 people each, 100 people coming from North Carolina. You know, it's just, I guess he thought, okay, if there's a serious liability, he doesn't want to fall for it. I thought maybe that was that, ah, but he was very nice. So you know, it was a good thing. And flash forward, uh, fast forward, I actually went, I got a chance to go to Korea, a Korea seminar, a seminar tour and everything from Atomy. It was great. It was interesting. But the very big, uh, well, the very big thing that uh, I had noticed, which was very cool, was that my wristband, my ticket number was actually my birth year. I was born in 1990. And I thought, oh my God, is this like, is this it? Like there's 2,000 people in this seating area and I had 1990. I was like, is this meant to be? Am I the one? Is, it, is, is this my thing? Is this my future? I wasn't sure. All I knew was that nobody cared around me, <laughs> but I kept it. I kept it and I, held, and I held it in there. Okay, something's interesting on here, but I still didn't really, maybe, you know, listening to all these people who are successful, who are, who are earning $10,000 a month, $50,000 a month on stage and talking about their experience, it was motivational. It was great through this business, you know, but I still was, wasn't really sure what was going on. I was still working at, at my, at my job and I had a couple of jobs I was working in, especially downtown over here. And then I got the chance, uh, an opportunity to quit my job. Now I didn't quit because you know, I was getting on uh, jumping into the business. Yeah. It's all me, 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 you know, I quit so that I could help my mom into this business. And so why not? It's a family business. There's family restaurants, family accounting firms. There's so many businesses with family. So why not do this as well? And then I got a chance to actually have a, a car full of products because every time I went to some seminars or some stories or testimonies that I heard, they talked about how they, were, they had uh, the, the members and customers through the products that they actually sold to them. Now, Anatomy, I, I, I thought it was selling, but I understood that Anatomy was not about selling. It was because they don't know about it. We had to buy it from the store, which is online. And then we had to introduce it to, a, to someone who doesn't know about it. And they want it right then and there. So it's a sale. It's a selling a product, but not, not for profit and for commission. And also, Mr. Hangyu Park, I saw a video back then. And he said, you must try and bring a bag, heavy bag full of products all into your friend's house and 
put it onto, onto a table. And I guess this is what it meant. You have a bunch of products and you're, and you're dreading to bring it to them to show them what goodness you have. And they were bound to buy something. Well, my experience, they were bound to buy nothing. There's so many times I went to so many places out there, nail salons, hair salons, dry cleaners. I took products uh, in a hot heat or cold time, uh, or cold time too, and, and, and they didn't even want, want to look at it. But some places, thankfully, I used the heck out of the skincare because all the women on there, all of them had glow skin, like, I mean, had glowy, uh, glowing skin. And I used the heck out of it. I made sure I knew how to use the evening care forceps, as we were just told. I knew how to use so much, so much more of the skincare that my, my face glue more than many of the women or men at many of those places. And they said, oh, no, you could, you're just because you're young. No, 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 no. It's because the acne products, that's what, that's what made my face glow. So thankfully, many, many people had, had uh, trusted me to share with them. I mean, I'm not you know, going to be like, I'm not trying to scan them or anything, but I try to show them the products. And I, I, I told them about, hey, I can show you how to use this. And we do like facials and stuff too. And I, did, I even used a peeling gel and exfoliated on, on, on people's hands and told them, hey, look at this stuff. Like what kind of 20-year-old guy talks about skincare in an actual store or anywhere out there in the road or even to a gentleman like, like this guy here? I, I gave this guy a facial like they with this, using the anime skincare. And he liked it. It was really nice. I just hope that everyone can keep up with the routine because this is not like a, a quick – quick change. So I created customs, create customers and members and, and try to bring them to uh, meetings, meetings as well, because they kept on saying, we have to bring into the system, to the system. Like, what is the system? Like, what's going on with this thing? <laughs> the system, it, like what, the, the government system or what's going on? So they said it was a system. And the successful people that were always talking about system, they said there were meetings and there were seminars and, and you must bring them there. So what, I, what we know, whoever we know here, the person we know here is Jason Shim. And I knew him when he was a dime master. And it was really cool because I had no idea what a diamond master was back then. All I knew was his name was title was diamond. And he had a wonderful diamond tie and everything. And so uh, I, I, I would always see him come over here with, with like uh, a, a preparing for a seminar at a hotel so people can come and join and see just like today's meeting right now instead of having a meeting online we, we before we actually go to seminars and sit there next to each other which is really fun so i got a chance to do that I'm, I'm not the employee but i got a chance to do this thing and my very first i think my very first uh meeting or the seminar tour which is a whole week like four to five different cities that i went to was with me on park at the time was royal master the fifth level in the business but now they are crown masters just a few years later. And from then I thought, I really thought it was about like business and, and money and, and, and just trying to have like an exquisite, extravagant life. But actually I didn't even know who these people were. I picked them up at the airport, traveled with them for a week. They told their life story. You know, we, I traveled for hours driving for them and I got to know them. They're normal individuals. It's because they actually went through the system and stuck with this Atomy company and that's how they became successful. And so not just one individual, this couple here, which is me and my mom, as well as the two individuals, that, uh, the couple there and Jason Shim there. And I, I went to hundreds of seminars. Every single month, I go to seminars, this tour, I'll drive around, you know, I, 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 I'd sit there and people would come up to me and say, hey, how do I get a job here? I'm like, I don't know, uh, call a company. Like, I'm a member like you. <laughs> So I went to so many seminars, over 200 or something like that in the past four years. And not only just, you know, preparing for the seminars and driving around, but I actually presented as well too. I was not in public speaking. I hated speaking in front of people. I, it, when, I, when I worked at, at, this, at the company I worked for over here in downtown Charlotte, I would go to this meeting for my mom and I would, I would type out a whole paragraph on the PowerPoint and read that thing in front of four people in my armpits would sweat like crazy. Like, I'm not, what, do I get credit for this? Like, what's going on? And I do that over and over again. And I realized, oh, it's so that I can get used to it. So that I can get used to this, some, this, this so-called system. It's because I am going to be the system. Now, wherever I go, because I did this over and over and over again, a routine that I didn't even realize I would do, I could go somewhere and talk about products. Just like we heard today. I could go somewhere and talk about the business. I could go somewhere and just talk to someone 
about atomy because I personally knew how to talk about atomy. I personally knew how to use a skincare. So they would see my skin. It glows. Look, this is what I do. Try it out. Does it work? I'm sorry. Next person. It's just people over and over again and going into these types of meetings, but along the way, traveling to different states and different countries as well. I mean, you might meet a celebrity too. You might know Nick Cannon. I mean, I met him, that's this guy. And back in my day, I loved the movie called Drumline. And I saw this, at, I saw my hotel. He finished his show and I was like, look, let me take a picture. He's like, all right, cool. Anyways, moving on to, to back into Adamy here. Seminars is where it's at. We are creating customers because we must have customers somehow. If, if a store, if any uh, large you know, Fortune 500 company store does not have one customer or 100 customers in a day, they make no money. And, and the ones who actually own that franchise make no money. Just like us, we actually need our, fran our consumers as well too. Not like a pyramid scheme, more like because we are introducing it and connecting it. Then we want to bring them into these seminars, which if you can't say it all, if, we, if you personally can't say the whole thing about the products or the whole thing about the business or the company, if you're not that good, which I wasn't, I just had to do it over and over and over again. Well, when, they, when you invite them into a seminar, they will hear something that they wanted to hear. But for me, it took me forever to bring one person. Like, man, oh man, they will like the skincare. They'll talk about it. Maybe they join, don't buy anything, but it took forever to bring them into here, into these seminars that they had to come and just sit there for free just for an hour or two and sit there and listen. And I get so excited. They say yes. And then they don't come. I'll be there. I'm, I'm on my way and they don't come. It was so frustrating, but thankfully you just keep going and going and you just go crazy. You have like a, like a tunnel vision of just, all right, next person, next person. In these seminars here, just like these huge meetings, we have we, it, the, the, the system will show other people's success. The ones who are successful people on this right now, over the 200, 200 almost 300 people are on here. There's people on here that make over $100,000 a year, $200,000 a year, and even going towards $300,000 a year, or people who are just make some cash back from the store. And that's what would maybe change people's minds saying, okay, this is not bad. And, and what we hear today of what someone said about no joining fee, no annual fee, just no obligation for us to join as a member to try out the products, not bad. Things that like that would catch what people would catch on to. And also when I constantly attended these seminars here, my, my, uh, some friends of mine also asked me to come join them for the business or come join this company there. And it was actually pretty tempting because maybe within a year I can make six figures in this company, or maybe we can do a business and we can grow and make, make even seven figures just in a few years. And I like, I kind of stumbled in there, but when I came back into these seminars and, and seeing people and listening to the testimonies, how great it was for their, their skincare or their health, like it brought me back to saying, okay, this is actually the, the, the better way. I'm not better, but like, this is actually much more of an easier route, just a routine that I would have to do instead of like a nine to five job or a business that I, I would have to like take more liability for, but why, might as well try this golden opportunity and this tool of this, of these types of seminars and inviting them into here. Plus seeing more people, the more people we constantly invite into here, the more people that we try to uh, uh, constantly stay in this, in this year, because when, when I constantly invite people, if I personally would invite them, I never missed a seminar in the past five years. I would always go to these seminars over and over again. I didn't miss it for my friend's birthday or for, for, um, for a sports time at a bar over there. I, I, it was even for Saturdays. And when you're late, you know, early 20s, you want to go somewhere on a Saturday. But I had to go to these meetings. I had to go to these seminars because it was, it was my responsibility to do it. And I chose to go there. And sometimes it was dreading you know, over and over again. But thankfully, I personally was there. So... I made sure I was there and I made sure that someone else is coming here. If not, I'll try again and again. Plus the opportunity had actually grown huge. I mean, for me, it, it, maybe because it probably because not many people are speaking English at the time. So all the people here speak English. You guys are lucky back then. It's just because, Hey, maybe you can come on here and, and you speak English. You might, can you come over here and present something? And <laughs> it could be that way or not, but the opportunity can go big. We have many opportunities for you to expand yourself. And I had that chance as well too. And I went through a different way. And I'm not saying I'm the only one who's been through this here. I'm not the only one who gave a facial to a man or, or grabbed someone's hand or went crazy about talking to anybody. I'm just saying that I followed the footsteps of people who were doing it. And, 
and people who actually start to make like $5,000 a month, $10,000 a month, even $30,000. I met people who were at, I met, I met a gentleman who I, who I drove around with who, had, who was making over $70,000 a month and he showed me his account and it was insane. This guy was hilarious too. My favorite guy, hold on, insane. He's a hilarious guy from Korea. What, do you, what they constantly mentioned was, and they always talk about too, is making sure that we personally try it to become and understand what a sales master is. And it's just sales master, the very first level, try it, just keep on trying to do this. You know, from the first to 15th, 16th to end of the month, we want to make sure if we try to challenge ourselves as a sales master, if you don't know it, it's, it's a certain amount of points on both sides and personally qualifying during this period of time. And when we do this, when we constantly do this, let's just say once a month we do this, we consider ourselves an auto sales master, something that we're automatically doing once a month or twice a month as well. And that's kind of what, if we think about it, if you don't, if you want to think of it differently, think of it as auto consumers, these consumers and members that just go online and purchase automatically purchase on their own. But before they do it, we must do it. I, I was the one who fell in love with the skincare who used the hair sub, the hair products and my hair was glistening and, and as it's growing very well, or like the skin was soft and, and I, I start to love and enjoy the products that Adam has to offer. So I became the consumer first. I became the whole loyal consumer of Atomy as well too. And if we do, and when we do, constantly become a sales master, or an auto sales master, well, how are we gonna to get to that point? I mean, what, 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 what should we do? Is it just about you know, members? Is it just about selling something or talking about it? Well, we must really follow up like my mom did for me to call me over and over again you know, every single day about the Hemohem, she followed up very, very well or persistence or trying to just talk to them and just keeping up with them would make them change their mind because I was very stubborn. Mm -hmm. I'm still stubborn as well. I'm just saying I was very stubborn. So doing it over and over again will make you look more. All right, I'm going to try this. I'll try that. But also trying to teach others how to order. If you know how to order, great. Now you can talk about it no matter what. For, for me, I, I went a little, uh, it was just easier for, for, the, for the younger generation to order something, order, order things online with the Atomy company, on, uh, with, the, with the website, or how to register them. It became very easy once you do it. And as long as we are able to teach that, and if we have people who do that under you, and you constantly create that, that will, that will also grow a larger business for yourself and also grow a larger uh, membership because they, we have to join as a member and to buy something online through Atomy's website. For this here, we want to make sure that everyone actually personally invites like I did personally as well too. If they don't come, no problem. At least you are here. Try to make you the person that's going to ask others to come and invite here. I hope that the next time we have a seminar here, we all invite more, at least one person or two people and try to make them come into here just like how you really like the products yourself and how you were enjoying it. I mean, it's different. Yes, we couldn't, we can't really go out too much, but try. I mean, wear the mask, stay six feet apart and try because a lot of businesses are still open and they can get through at a certain time frame. And, and by going out there, they will know that, okay, if you, um, they, they want to know about what, you know, Korea products or everything, a lot of things in Korea are expanding a lot. So they actually are interested in things. They just don't know about it yet. Someone will hear about it. Someone will, will try to talk to someone and you might miss that chance. So try not to miss that chance to speak to a person. All in all, you do, if you duplicate this process, it's very simple, but tedious. It's a repetition and persistence. And it's very, very frustrating, but the frustration, it ends up and we can earn $1.2 million in this company. We can earn that much from this company here called Atomy, this distribution hub. No stores gonna give us back even like a few thousand dollars on what we do in a year. I mean, no stores gonna give us $10,000 a month. This company of $1.2 million a month is uh, a year is huge. So we have to must think it's a very big, big opportunity for each one of us. As long as you remember, we have that chance. But once we do this auto sales master once a month and for a whole year, you try and do it once a month, you get to go into an auto sales master workshop. They're delaying it a little bit because of this pandemic right, right now, but it's great. I, I went to a couple of times as well. It took me a few years to get to this thing. But you know, over at, at the time, there, there are hundreds, there are hundreds in America and gathering all together to, to enjoy this workshop. And the company does a great, great event for us 
all we had to do was fly over to an air to a city, which was this was LA, and they had two days of the, they paid for our hotel for us, and they they did a lot of things for us, uh, whether it's the, the events or games and food. And it was great, and we see great Jack. I went there for the jacket actually. It was a very nice jacket. Very <laughs> good compliments about that. <laughs> so going through this here, I mean, not only just okay, we're gonna go through somewhere, but there's actually real promotions that happen. The person I told you earlier who was a dime master. Well, he's now a royal master, and, and I was there at, at, that, at, that, uh, at his promotion time, Jason Shim, royal master, and his wife, Judy, Judy Ryu. Like, it was great, and happiness, and this is, I took this picture, by the way, top props, yes. And then even for someone I personally, you know, who, who gave birth to me, my mom, she's a star master, and also, so these are both royal leaders club members earning over $200,000 a year. Like, I personally know this, so it's really happening, and, and, and going through their footsteps, there's no way that, that no one can, can not succeed in this as long as there, there's persistence. And sometimes when I traveled, you know, I'm like, ah, I'm kind of down. Maybe there's not you know, customers that want to buy something or not many members growing. So I sat there and I thought about maybe I can earn that $10,000 from, from the Star Master bonus. Because that's, that's what my mom received as well. And I just, you know, sat there and maybe I could have it someday. But thankfully... After a few years, you know, into the business, quite a few years actually, I became a Sharon Rose master. Thankfully, it, it was not just, you know, it was literally the guidance of whoever was successful above you, or whoever was is, is successful below you, or whoever is the sponsors. When they are like the sponsors, they give you their experience because you ask them and they and they they actually help you and they guide you in a certain way. And if you just listen, if we listen carefully and we try and go their route. It's actually very easy, very easy than, than opportunity than many things out there. My job, I would not have had that job because I, I was create, uh, help, creating a program to get rid of my job. So there's little things that they're trying to get rid of so that the company can make more money or the CEO can make more money in that company. This company here, thankfully, they want so many of us, they want thousands, hundreds of thousands of us to make $1.2 million a year. And we buy what a year? One item a year. Stainless steel scrubbers, 352, soft, soft, durable. You know, that's our membership. Like what? There's nothing for us to be required. And, and people who earn $10,000 or $30,000 a month, they just buy one thing a year to maintain membership. And that's what we can do. For these promotions or, uh, or per, the, the per, uh, per, persistence is what will gain us. And I'm still on my way. It's not a race. It's a marathon to get there. I can't wait to go on my, my Sharon Rose master trip to either Cancun or, or uh, Bahamas or wherever they choose because, oops, I thought I had it out there. So yes, the Sharon Rose master there as well. And thankfully my mom gave me a chance to go to there, to go to her uh, Sharon Rose master trip and her star master trip. And it happened. It was real. And the company did a great job. So I, I'm, I'm, I can't wait till I get to my uh, travel with my promotion tickets as well too. So with this, Thankfully, you don't have to drive somewhere 30 minutes, 25 minutes, or someone could drive an hour or go to different places to sit there for a seminar. Everything is online now. Everything is completely online. So it's a lot easier for us to realize, you know what? We sit there, we dress up, I have shorts on under me. We do what we want to do. I mean, right? As long as the camera is there, we do what we can. And it's a lot easier to do this. So with this here, maybe all of us can wear, uh, can not wear, maybe all of us can actually uh, I saw short here. <laughs> All of us can actually have a goal. It's easy to write down a goal. It's great. It's easy to, to write it all down and say it all, but it's difficult to keep up with it. It's difficult to persist with it. But if we do, then that's when the lives would change. Your life would change. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying to change my life as well too and gaining in, in a better way. We need to study the study out of me. Like literally we have to study it because I had to do it over and over again, you know, for the seminars. That's how I got used to it. But the ones who are not used to it, we have to try and talk over and over again or think about it over and over or read upon it. Experience in the products. Use it up. Smell it. Taste it. Do what we can. Put that pad into your mask and put it on your face. Great. You experience different ways. You want, and we also want to learn how in the world are we going to make money. Someone can tell you this or you can research it yourself and looking on the website. The more you personally do it, which I had to do for my PowerPoints or trying to talk to people, like the more you do it, you get used to it. And we have our own way of explaining things. Plus, we want to register members as much as we can and make sure that they are all going to use Anatomy's products. How? Just like my mom did every single day 
was to call this person, message this person, talk to this person, keep them in mind, don't forget about them, and make sure that they want to use the products. There's so many things that Atomy has to offer, at least 20 to 30 different items that they normally use with different brands, but Atomy can be that one brand for them to use as a new store. Yes, we must all know how to become a sales master, not just by points, but actually looking in on, on what's going on within your lineage. Lineage is your downline of people that you register and who they register as well too from the website of Atomy. Everyone, anyone can say it, but you might as well try. If you are new, you, you don't want to do it, try it again. Starting tonight, try for three months to a daily process of trying to follow up your members because there's, I have so many, I've hunt, I, over a hundred people, hundreds of people that I've registered and I didn't follow up with them. And because I kept looking for new people over and over and over again, look at that person, look at this person, that person's limping, omega threes. I'm, I'm thinking of new people. I just forgot to go back to that person again and again, because it's not only omega three, the fish oil, there's so many items that that person can use from brushing their teeth to washing their face. I'm still learning. Everyone is still learning. Even people who are earning $20,000, $30,000 a month, they are all still learning. We are all still learning in anatomy, but each and every one of us, there's a way that we, there's, there's a, there's a, uh, we are all actually here for something. Atomy is an opportunity. There's so many opportunities for us to have residual income, but Atomy is also another tool for an opportunity for us to actually earn income as well, just a lot easier as long as we, we are persistent with it. So what I'm trying to say is we are here, we are born to succeed, but with time, with time and persistence, not a race, not you know, quick, fast, making money. What's the fastest ways to make money? So many people have asked me that. I do not know. I'm, I'm not a guru. I just did the this, this same system over and over again by following up with someone or by talking to someone. Because I did that, that's because I followed people who were successful. I followed the system. I didn't, I didn't give up. I'm in the system of Atomy that's providing money back to us and not myself, but a family that I will have and their family as well too. So Atomy is this huge, strong company. As we just heard earlier, what a great company this is. What, how, how they're, how they're going to be so strong for our future. I mean, for them as well too, they're, they're not going to go bankrupt. They're not trying to take our money. They really want us to have great products. They really want us to have money. So what is so bad about that? And how about what our generations to come? It's a strong, huge, perfect, powerful company that we must really understand and persist with. And so that we are all actually able to earn income, whether it's six figures going into seven figures through Atomy. Ladies and gentlemen, my, my name is Martin Hahn, currently a Sharon Rose Master in Anatomy. I hope you enjoyed the presentation as well as my experience. I hope you have your own experience in the future. Share your experience so others will look upon you as well too. Ladies and gentlemen, the future is ours. Thank you for listening. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, Sharon Rose Master Martin Hahn. Man, you know, um, you know how you said that, you know, you're, you lost electricity <laughs> because your mom forgot to pay for it <laughs> for the first couple of beginnings because she was so focused on Atomy. Um, I'm sure it was frustrating back then, but now it's like such an inspiration, you know, how much she really put into things and uh, into Atomy. And now you're reaping what you have so what she has sold in. And your mother is so smart because she knew how to lure you in you know <laughs> by yeah. asking you to help Super me here smart. help me there <laughs> so that now you're succeeding with her that's awesome wow thank you so much for such a great and encouraging inspirational speech we will learn from what you have shared with us so please watch the video again the recordings and you know listen to it and yes every day daily the habits that we need to build because that's going to take us Help us to be successful as we are in the Atomy system. Thank you so much. Once again, let's give him one more hand. Thank you. All right.